And she still doesn't know you have it. <laughs> That's glorious. I think you did exactly the right thing. <laughs> I think you're the only person who thinks that. God. Women's awards. Congratulations. Oh, it's infantilizing bollocks. Wait, don't you think it's good? That... No, no, it's ghettoizing. It's a subsection of success. That's <laughs> children's table awards. <laughs> Why did you go? Because I'd be an asshole not to. Miss Bruce? Thank you, darling. Gosh, she's hot. Yeah. Are you a lesbian? Not strictly. Mm. You? Mm. Do you like old films? Some. And what's your favourite period film? Carrie. <laughs> God. God, you are a tonic. What do you do? Are you a woman in business? I run a cafe. Oh, good for you. Did you make the canopies? Uh, no, actually, I stole them. <laughs> How old are you? 58. And you? 33. Oh. Well, don't worry, it does get better. You promise? I promise. Listen, I was in an aeroplane the other day, and I realised... Well, I... I mean, I've been longing to say this out loud, so... Women are born with pain built in. It's our physical destiny. Period pains, sore boobs, childbirth, you know. We carry it within ourselves throughout our lives. Men don't. They have to seek it out. They invent all these gods and demons and things so they can feel guilty about things, which is something we do very well on our own. And then they create wars so they can feel things and touch each other. And when there aren't any wars, they can play rugby. And we have it all going on in here, inside. We have pain on a cycle for years and years and years. And then, just when you feel you are making peace with it all, what happens? The menopause comes. The menopause comes and it is the most wonderful thing in the world and yes your entire pelvic floor crumbles and you get hot and no one cares but then you're free no longer a slave no longer a, a machine with parts you're just a person in business I was told it was horrendous. It is horrendous, but then it's magnificent. Something to look forward to. You better get back to that party. Your party? Mm. It is not a party until someone flirts with you, and that's the only really thing about getting older, is that people don't flirt with you anymore. Not really. Not with danger. I miss walking into a room and not knowing, and there's a sort of energy a dare and do not take that for granted there is nothing more exciting than a room full of people yeah except most people are what oh. look at me listen people are all we've got people are all we've got so grab the night by its nipples and Go and flirt with someone. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, I wish you were my type. You know, take this tart back to my party and go and find someone to actually do that with. I want to do it with you. No. Why not? Honestly? Yeah. Can't be. I'm going to go back to my room and have one more martini. And if you need anything, call me. Anything. You can have whatever you want at your age. Except the best woman in business. Well, that's just because she's exhausted. 33 isn't exactly... The... And what had Jesus done by 33? Died. Exactly. So get out there and flirt. Thank mm -hmm. you.